I've connected up the GPD pocket to a 4K TV just using a micro HDMI lead and it's playing a 4K clip and if you have a look up here you see that's the 4K display and remember it's only 30 frames per second not 60 so it's not going to be as smooth as full 60 frames but it still looks really nice so if I just press play Remember, you're not watching this in 4K because I'm not recording in 4K. But it is lovely and clear. So I'm just going to quickly connect up the cable using the USB-C port at the side and just to see if we're still getting the 4K at 30 frames per second. OK, so this time I've connected up the GPD pocket via the USB-C multi-port adapter. Then I've got the HDMI going into the TV here. Interesting thing is I'm using the same HDMI port, but yet when I press OK now on the TV, can you see it's just coming up as 1080p? So it's uh, 30 frames a second at 1080p, so it's not 4K anymore, which is interesting because it could well be that adapter down there because I can't check it on anything else but it is actually down as supports 4K. So, either the adapter's not doing it right or the GPD pocket isn't putting out 4K via that USB-C port. Hi, so right now we've got the GPD pocket connected up onto the PlayStation Remote Play. So basically I'm playing my PlayStation via the GPD Pocket. So it's streaming over to this and it does actually work really well. Now it will depend upon the connection you've got. So, so right now I've got my PlayStation 4 which is in the other room connected via an ethernet cable back to my router or you guys will know it as router if you're watching it from somewhere outside of the UK. Now this is connected to Wi-Fi to my router. If you were to connect this via an ethernet cable, then it would give you an even better signal. But I have got a strong Wi-Fi signal right now, and obviously my PlayStation 4 is giving it the best possible connection because it's on a wired connection. So this does work well, the picture looks nice. It will drop a few frames every now and then, so when you're playing it, it's not gonna be as good as playing it on your PlayStation. But still, if you've been kicked out of the main room, then it's good to have something else to play it on. Now, I've currently got this connected up via a DualShock 4 USB wireless adapter, so I can use it via wireless. But if you prefer, you can just connect in a wired cable. So if you have a USB to a micro USB, plug it into there and then into there, it works just as well. It's just that you are then going to be tethered via a cable. Now the sound will come through here as well, so when I move it around you can hear it coming from the GPD pocket, but you can also have it coming through the headphone jack here. So if I was to go to make the screen smaller and then go down to speakers and if I connect it up to headset earphone DualShock 4, then basically when I move it around the sounds now are going to be coming through there. So if I plug my headphones into here. Hopefully you would just about hear it. Yeah, so that's coming through the headset now. But for this video I'm going to put it back to the speakers here. Right, okay, so if we go to Drive Club, I'm just going to show you it working here. And then I'm going to connect it on the big TV up there because it looks so much better when you connect it up to the TV. Now the good thing about this is you can set it up officially. This is the official PlayStation 4 Remote Play. On the GPD Win, which is the smaller GPD product with the built-in controllers, unfortunately it says the screen is too small. The resolution is too small to enable Remote Play. But on this one, I just went to the official PlayStation Remote Play, installed the app, and it's working perfectly. As you can see there, Working nice, changing up and down the gears, braking, and it's completely playable. Now, the graphics are not going to be as good as playing it on your PlayStation 4. 
but it still does look nice and again the view and angle and everything is really good so if you have a look at it there you can still see it there let's have a little close up look you can see there it does still look good and the rumble and everything works on it right let's just show you a few different views see what it looks like let's go to the one inside the car if you have a look there it all looks really nice Right, let me show you it working on the TV. So again, different ways of doing it. We can do it wirelessly via Miracast. We can connect up the HDMI to the micro HDMI cable, or we can just use the USB multi-port adapter. So let me just show you this one to begin with, and then I'm gonna show you it working wirelessly as well. So that's plugged in there, and now you will see that in a few seconds it will come up there as well. There we go. So what I'm gonna to have to do is move the sound from here onto the TV. So let me go to speakers, move it onto the Samsung, and now it's going to come up there. Let's just make it big screen again. Right, let me show you up here. Right, okay, so I've got it going from down there up to the TV. And if you have a look, Right, okay, so you get the idea of that. Now, I'm actually going to show you a way to do this wirelessly. Now, when you do it wirelessly, there will be more lag. So, depending on the game, it's not going to work as well. On something like Minecraft, it's going to be fine. But on a racing game, or perhaps a fight game, it would be really hard. But on this particular game, it is actually still playable, and then you don't have to worry about cables at all. So, let me show you that working. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this one here. And I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to go to connect. It's looking for the devices to connect to, so I'm going to connect to the Samsung 6 series up there. Now it should come up with here, connecting. There we go, and can you see now it's come up here? So, let me unplug the HDMI cable from the back, so there's absolutely nothing connected there now. Let's make it big screen again. And again, the sound will come through to the TV again, or we can choose to have it come through to the headphone port. Right, so I don't know if you can notice, but it's definitely harder to control. Let me just put a bit more volume on it. There you go, you can see it breaking up there. It's still just about playable. So you can imagine now on a slow paced game, it would actually be doable. There we go, and as you can see, completely wireless from there. So it's streaming the picture from there up to here. So we've got the PlayStation 4 streaming over to the GPD pocket, and then we've got the GPD pocket streaming the picture up to here. And it is quite nice.
but you can see there is a slight delay there when I hit it it's happening a few milliseconds afterwards okay so streaming the PlayStation 4 onto the GPD pocket is another use for it okay so we're going to do the PlayStation 4 remote play again but this time we're going to do it via a mobile hotspot so it's not connected to any Wi-Fi in the house so this can be done anywhere in the world so if you have a look now I've got my hotspot connected on my Vodafone and if I hover over here it says VFD 900 so I'm connected to Wi-Fi from my hotspot so I'm not connected to anything in the house so this is not anywhere although the PlayStation is still in the next room this is the same as being anywhere in the world. Right, okay, so I'm going to go to options and then start the PS4 remote app and hopefully it will still find the PlayStation 4. But I haven't actually connected this up via a hotspot before, so let's see how long it's going to take. Right, searching the internet. Now the connection in this house on the 4G signal is around about halfway you see the 4G signal at the top there right it says connecting checking the connection environment it might not be good enough and as well when you use a hotspot from your mobile phone you're going to use up an awful lot of data this is really eats through your data so you've got to be careful Make sure that you have an unlimited plan or that you've got a lot of gigabytes on your plan. Right, so it's taken quite a while, so it might not work. Oh, excellent, it has worked. Right, okay. Right, okay. Just go to Drive Club again. going to go to restart just to save a bit of time make the screen big yeah feels okay but this is really going to be dependent on the connection obviously if you've got a weak connection then it's not going to connect at all or it's just going to keep dropping out Right, so as you can see, it is actually working okay. And again, we can connect it up to the TV and stuff just like we did before. So even on a Wi-Fi hotspot, you can use this anywhere in the world and it will work as well.